Janice. Well, well. Dr. David Gibson. And you are his new assistant? No, I mean, yes. Well, I'm here to help research. Haven't seen you for a while. Yeah. I heard you got a new job. Excuse me? Where's the restroom at? Down the hall on the left side. Okay, thanks. Yeah, about that. Um, it's become more of an adventure than work. Well, your sister was very upset that you were leaving, but she said it will be just for a few weeks. Yeah, well, it's become a little bit more complicated. It's been what? Six months? <laughs> Try seven. But some serious stuff has happened up there, and I, I can't leave until I get everything figured out. Are you coming back? I can't come back until the job's done. They are very stressed here. Is, uh, is Jackie here? We can go in. Perfect, thank you. Hey. Yeah. I email you. Perfect. Well, you're my only direct connection to here. Thank you very much, Janice. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. This is it. This is the lab my uh, sister works at. Biggest wow. lab in Phoenix, yeah. Huh. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's off the uh, hospital over the mountainside, but yeah. Hey, stranger. Hey. Here it comes. What are you doing here? Who's this? This is Lance. Uh, this is my buddy. He came along to help me out. Hi, Lance. Nice to meet you. I'm Jackie. Me too. So is uh, this the sample you called me about? This is the stuff. What is that? I have no idea. Whatever it is, it's causing a lot of respiratory problems with my uh, patients up in Prescott. Seriously? Yeah. Actually, I got it from uh, his sister's hair. Ugh. It's disgusting. Yeah. Every time she's exposed to it, she has trouble breathing. And a lot of others do too when they're exposed to it. Okay. Well, let's get this thing on the centrifuge and see what it is. Awesome. Huh. All right, we'll put your sample in here and this should separate it for us. Tell us exactly what we got in here. Awesome. It's gonna spin at a high, uh, high rate and it'll separate it by weight so we know exactly what we got. Okay. She's the best, so hopefully we can figure this out. All right, guys. What's all that? Well, any time that you uh, you bring in or you produce chemicals into the United States, you got to register them with the federal government. Even if you combine two chemicals, you still have to have them registered. Really? Yeah. So if you look here, look. These are all the chemicals right here that you guys have in that sample. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Nothing really looks particularly out of the ordinary. Pretty toxic, but at particular levels it can be. Oh, hold on a minute. What's that? You know what? You have one substance here that isn't matching anything in the federal registry. Maybe it's new and not in the database yet. Well, it is the government, so it's quite possible. Oh, crap. You know what? You guys, I got to get to a meeting. So, I mean, feel free. Do whatever you need to do to see what you can find. Um, I got some chem labs and some research bookmarks. And if you need anything, all my logins are right here on the monitor, okay? Thank you, Jackie. You're welcome. Hey, you know what? And there's nobody here, so feel free to use whatever you need, okay? Yeah. All, right. all right. Thank you, Jackie. Hey, is there any chance we can grab dinner tonight? Oh, tonight I can't. Um... Maybe about a week or so when I'm back? Yeah, sure. All right, I'll catch you later. Jackie. Yeah? Thanks. No problem. See you. Don't even think about it. She's married. Do I have to test her testosterone? <laughs> have a seat. Let's see what we can find. Let me put in her info. Yeah. I got an idea. Alright, have at it. Let me 
And here we go. <laughs> Don't call me a super amazing, awesome whiz kid for nothing. Look at all these names, they're all global. All over the place? Yeah. And look at the chemicals that they're associated with. These are all very toxic. I think we're onto something here. We gotta get this onto a thumb drive. Okay. All right, let me. I think this is what we need. Jonathan, internet security just detected a new hit on one of the monitored science sites. And yeah, what level was the site? Critical. It's a high security site with limited access. Only specified users can enter, mainly scientists doing medical research. Was it hacked? No, no. The login was valid and the computer is registered. So what's the concern? The user downloaded several files. An authorized user entered the site and downloaded existing files. Isn't that the purpose of the site? This is a government-affiliated lab with high access authorization ability. And? And they typed in a chemical formula looking specifically for an unknown element identity. Our tracker picked it up as a red alert. The formula is DFA-13. Get a bug into that hard drive. Make it a level red with a high-risk alert. Already done. And I want a full report on every site they searched, even if they didn't get results. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, you should be. Look. You're doing the right thing. You are. About? About the spring. The cover-up. All of it. Thanks. I mean, really, the public wouldn't understand. <laughs> They'd try to stop us and take us down if they could. Is this your way of offering encouragement? Actually, it's my way of telling you how much I appreciate you. Rebecca, hmm? stop being nice. It always makes me nervous. Good. <laughs>